Oh, a pleasure to see you. A pleasure indeed. I am Gari, a great sage. In my day, anyway. I'd hoped to ask a favor when one of your ilk came along. A strapping young tarnished, able to cross the Scarlet Swamp of Aeonia. Don't fret, I'll provide fine recompense. Should you accept, I will teach you the secret of Celia, the town you see there. Ah, then you are willing to lend a hand, are you? I need your help to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. You will find her beyond Celia, resting at the church atop the cliff, stricken by the rotting sickness. You found the unalloyed gold needle. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here. Go on. It's yours. Now let me have a look at the needle. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan, a meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use snapped in half, will it? Did your return. The needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. <laughs> Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, the town yonder. Tended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Do you... Who's there? Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. You ask that I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot. But how? Never mind. I've decided I would rather trust you than simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? <sighs> oh. 
Well, that was easier than expected. But why do I feel so... to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you. I would like you to have this, by way of thanks, a token though it is. Oh, hello again. Something about this place felt familiar to me, so I decided to pay a visit, hoping to find someone here, but I've only found emptiness. Perhaps before my departure, I needed someone to say farewell to. Thank you kindly for giving the needle to Millicent. Now she too can begin her journey and stare her fate straight in the eye. You've been a saint through and through. As thanks, I vow to impart to you my knowledge of the lost sorceries of the Selians, descendants of the Eternal. Oh, you noticed, did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit this hovel of a home. It seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain, but faintly. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. I mustn't impede. As I've aged, I've found the best way to aid the young is to be forgotten. Ah, we meet again. In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. The Scarlet Rot has stilled since last we met. As such, I've been able to continue my journey. Though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. Now I'm tracing the path Melania took after unleashing the power of the Scarlet Rot during her battle with General Radan in the Caled Wilds. I should like to meet her. This vanished woman. I think she's in the north, in the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Now, I'm tracing the path Melania took. She's passed.
now, I'm tracing the path Melania took. She's passed into the land. Are you giving me this arm? Thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Perhaps then I can aid you in battle. Yet again, the arm you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. we'd meet in such a place. What could your purpose possibly... No. I know well enough who you are. And what I know is good enough for me. Call upon me again. In battle. Should you have the need. No secrets lie with you. Must keep it out of the cup.
again we meet. I can only surmise our purposes are aligned. In which case, allow me to explain myself. I am of Melania's blood, but in what capacity I know not. I could be sister, daughter, or an offshoot. Whatever the case, though, I am certain of a kinship between us. There is something I must return to Melania. The will that was once her own. The dignity. The sense of self. That allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot. The pride she abandoned. To meet Radan's measure. Without your help, I could not have defeated that quartet. 
I feel as if I've been in your debt from beginning to end. Thank you. With your help, I was able to live as my own person. If only in passing. 